Good evening, good evening, good evening. Look, I've had some time to review the situation. It's half term. My kids are off school. I've spent a month away. I'm going to spend until they go back to school with them. I'm going to turn my phone off. Have a little break. <clears throat> but what have I... That campaign, honestly, was amazing. Yeah, I loved every minute of it. So when people talk about politics again, I've kept saying our movement needs to be politicised. It still does. It will. We will. I'm still absolutely 100% on it. Um, <clears throat> I looked at the votes per candidate and out of votes per candidate, as an individual candidate, I'd have come third across the whole country. We, it shows us how much more we've got to do, how much work there is to do. But I love a challenge. And I loved every minute of being out in those estates, meeting those people. It's what I want to do. It's completely what I want to do. I want to politicise and I want to prove. And we have to prove ourselves time and time again. And we'll come back and prove ourselves. <clears throat> this election was about the biggest point in our country's history for decades. Brexit. Simply about Brexit. Nigel Farage absolutely cleaned up on the Brexit party issue. Fair play to him. Um... We've got a long way to go. We've got a lot to do. We need to create a populist voice. I want to be the man that leads it. I want to be the man involved in it. I want every one of you to support me and help me do it. But the next fight, which is coming very soon, is my court case. I'm in court on the 4th of July. I can see what they're trying to do, what they're being successful in doing, really. Removing my ability to talk to people. Removing my ability to have a platform. And then probably trying to bang me back up in prison on the 4th of July. I'm probably trying to get rid of my voice forever. So... I want to fight and fight, fight, fight. It's all I know. The only reaction I know to anything is fight it, fight it, fight it and keep fighting. So on the 4th of July, as many of you as possible, please, if you can, come along. We're at the Old Bailey. I'd love to turn up there with thousands of people and show them that the torch is still alight, that they've not took the spirit out of people because they've certainly not took my spirit. I'm having, as I said, I'm going to have a break and I'm coming back harder. Um, honestly, to everyone who's messaged me support, to everyone who supported me, to the people who financed my security. I'm lucky to, I think, to make out of that campaign alive. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I had an amazing experience. And I'm doing it again and again. Um, <clears throat> we have a lot to do. We have a lot happening. Our bus is coming. Um, but for now, my phone's going to be off. Sorry to anyone who's been trying to contact me for the last month because I've been out of contact. I'm going to be out of contact for another week. And when I get back, I'm going to focus on the 4th of July because that's my date at the Old Bailey where I believe they're going to try and send me back to prison. Um, anyone involved in this movement, we dust ourselves off and we get back fighting. Thank you, everyone here, for the support. As I said, do you know the amount of banter I had on that, on that campaign trail? as well as the fulfilling moments for me, seeing the support, which is why I'm, I'm not disheartened, because I know everywhere I go the support's there. It's a bigger job than I thought politicising it, turning it into votes. But we need to. Well, there's no other choice. So watch this space. Thank you again.